Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to set up a self-hosted Bitwarden instance on your VPS. I definitely recommend checking out our blog post which will be linked in the description. There you will find a step-by-step -step guide as well as all used commands. Before you set up your Bitwarden instance you need to consider whether you're running it only on a virtual machine or for other purposes. In this video we will cover the standalone self-hosted Bitwarden for a VM. If you want to know how to set up a Bitwarden instance on a server with more on it than just this Bitwarden instance, check out the video description. There you will find a link to the other video. Requirements In order to install Bitwarden, you need root access to a server with a Linux-based operating system on it, as well as a domain already connected to your server. In this video, our VPS MSSD runs Debian 10. Some commands may vary on different operating systems. Step 1 Installing Docker and curl. Before we continue with the actual installation of Bitwarden, we need to prepare our system first. The final Bitwarden instance will be running in a Docker container, so we need to install Docker and Docker Compose as well as curl. This can be done with this single command. Step 2. Downloading the installation script. Luckily for us, Bitwarden can be installed with a simple bash script which is provided by the makers of Bitwarden. We can download the script and make it executable with this long command. Step 3. Running the installation script. After successfully downloading the script, it's time to run it. To do so, use this command. Now we need to enter our domain, or subdomain, which will be linked with our Bitwarden instance. Now we can choose if we want the script to install an SSL certificate for us. This is totally recommended to make login and data transfers more secure. You can of course install an SSL certificate manually afterwards. In this video I want the script to install such a certificate for us. Now we need to enter name for the database that will be created. I choose the recommended name Vault. Now the script asks us for an installation ID. You can get this ID and the installation key by visiting bitwarden.com slash host. Here you need to provide an email address. Now just copy the installation ID and paste it into the console. Do the same for the installation key. Now just start Bitwarden with this command. Step 4. Create an account. Now your Bitwarden instance is set up and running. Enter your domain in the URL bar of your browser and start with creating an account. Congrats! Now you can start with populating your self-hosted Bitwarden instance with your accounts. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any further tutorials.